Welcome back to App Reviews. This is episode 50. We're at it. We're at the big 50. Half a, half a century. Fascinating to think that we got this far with these things. We've only originally maybe five videos. But there we are. So we got a good art book for this one. Like the one who just picked this one up uh, from the stores on the other day. Yeah, a box up our traveler. But this isn't just the Switch game, it's also the uh, mobile phone, I think it is. The Champions. Oh, uh, the Champions one. I think it has like, a little bit of an intro for it. Um, which I've never played, so that'll be interesting. This is a tier 3. It's a detailed uh, app book. It's a detailed concept book. Sorry, my brain going a bit there. Weird mail. This wasn't too bad price, but the heft of it is roughly, I believe, yeah. 222-ish pages. It was £40, $50 if you're American. Not bad as a uh, price for modern day art books. Obviously, art books have gone up since the day the Monster Hunter ones came out. But 40 quid for this kind of one is pretty good. It's off a very nice uh, artwork, which I believe might be exclusive to this book. I don't know, actually. Yet, yeah, uh, nice little comments about why they did illustrations. It's only small little ones but it's still nice to see and here we are with something that i greatly appreciate the stages of development and uh, different angles they tried which ones they finally went with been looking for that in sony art books nice to see it here very good go the fascinating art style although a lot of the in-game art obviously is very well detailed it's just a pop-up book kind of thing. You get these nice little landscape shots, which are quite good. I get out of the light. There we go. With all the characters on. Um, I wish you know, the characters interacted more in the story with each other. They just like little quips with each other every now and then. In the actual main storylines, you have to take into the fact that you might not have certain characters. So. Which is a bit sad, really, but it is what it is. Um, we'll start off with many people's favourite, uh, Pim Rose. Quite a very well-written character, actually. I, I do like this character. Beautifully done artwork here. You've got the uh, sketches for it. Well, not really sketches, but almost like painted, I guess. So the pose is... Little sprite versions, and then we just go through the various characters. That's so the character I mainly used. Um, I'm a warrior type normally, these kind of things. So we go through nice little detailed thing for the characters. Quite nice. And then the hunter, who, as much as I loved her design, her storyline felt a bit like lost like maybe last minute i don't know it didn't feel as detailed as, as well as done as the others it's a shame all comments on there finn still don't beat that one book i had which was <laughs> troll the boobs bigger <laughs> forgot much that book that was that was so fun but really nicely drawn character some sort of characters in it merchant as well Ah, oh, let's have a look for the heads. Ah, this one right. Cleric characters. Generally, I find not done particularly well. The one thing I'll give up to Path Traveler. They did write a really good cleric character. I really liked uh, Alfina. I think that's how you pronounce her name. I really like her storyline, her character. Her personality is just really nice. Um... A way of doing a cleric well, which is a little bit unusual for me. Ending title cards, if you don't really want to see them, skip a minute ahead. Maybe not even a minute, maybe 30 seconds. Uh, there was apparently a final ending. I 
I think. I never did it though, because I never actually knew how to access it. I just completely lost all and it just went, no, that was it. But I might have to load up the game again to do that. Uh, nice to have the full map on both pages. And it falls fairly well. So you don't lose, you lose very little in the crease, which is quite good. A pet peeve of mine is when you lose a lot in the crease. Get scenery. This is quite cool though. This is uh, all the little bits of information about the buildings and interior decoration and stuff. This is quite nice. I like this kind of thing where it gives a bit more detail about this and that. Um, oh, that's a beautiful landscape shot. That. It's a very nice watercolor. Very nice when you get stuff like that. Um, let's try and skip a little bit ahead here. So we're not just going for every page willy nilly. Yeah. <laughs> try random talk things. Don't recognise what that's for, but. I just and still see. Ah, the uh, boss like characters. Yeah, they were fascinating little bits of artwork there, those was the little boss bits. <laughs> so that should be go. Yeah. Oh, comments by the chain different poses. Like that. Yeah, I don't recognise this character. Must be it, but I don't recognize I recognize that bonus boss. I couldn't beat it. I couldn't, there was a, for the elite classes, I couldn't do them. They just seemed such hard work, and I gave up on them. I don't remember this guy, so I don't know if we're getting into the champions thing. But I definitely don't recognize these. Yeah, this stuff at all. I was saying that this looks like normal stuff, so maybe it's the final chapter bit that I never actually did. And that is the normal one, so I must have just missed it. must be the final chapter bit, I never did. Just some like anniversary pictures. Ha! Ah, Brave default. Yeah, some nice little bits of artwork, very nice. Picture of the merchandise, there you go. The <laughs> catalogue order. Or something. That's crazy, some food from the cafe that they did at one point. That'd be quite interesting. Oh, that's a fairy from, um... Yeah, Bravely Fogger. So this is the champions of the content. But I don't know much about the champions of the content. Probably it's another game. Oh, now that is a poster. That's a great poster, that is. I'll give you that one, lads. Yeah. The design, the description, very, very good. So just open an iron and going for these, they'll probably just flip through. A lot of uh, champions, that's why I had a flick for this bit earlier. There is a lot of champions you could choose from. Crazy. It's probably wasn't as much customization as the base game, because look at them all. It's a very nice artworks. Beautiful artist too does these fins. There's some more like title fins. Promotional arts, and then we get to bits and bats at the end. So you got some really beautiful artwork, you got some sketches, you got some more colours. If I mean it's I would say it's actually quite a good piece even if you don't know much about the games. Um 
obviously a lot more value if you do. Um, so if you're definitely a fan of Octopath Traveler or the Champion one, definitely I would say it's worth getting. It's not a bad price for what you get. What you get in this one, it's well put together book. Um, so I'm gonna have to read through this a few more times. I think getting looking at all the little bits and details, uh, something I greatly appreciate. Uh, in this, uh, oof, is there anything else left to say? Probably not. Um, but I, mean, I recommend it. But anyway, until next time. Goodbye.